What's up guys, it's Graves, and today I'm gonna catch you guys up on kind of some things that happened back in 2018 because you know, this connection, this bond that we have kind of separated when I was going through life. So, um, but just so you guys know what's gonna be further in the video. <laughs> sorry, if this thing cuts off, I'm just gonna keep going with it and blah, 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 cause I don't have no clue. But like I was saying, uh, I'm just trying to catch up with you guys. There was a lot of things happening in 2018, and as we continue with 2019 in the videos and the workouts and stuff, I'm still gonna bring up some topics that I think could hopefully help you guys and will definitely help me to talk about. So, one of the things I wanted to bring up, oh, and later on today, we are gonna be um, hopefully working out with some NFL draft prep athletes at Lando Performance. Uh, they're gonna be in the bubble and um, I believe they're gonna be doing some routes. So it may be good for me to start getting, getting back in the motions. I haven't covered somebody since probably like last spring. So this will be good for me. Hopefully we get some footage of that. But yeah, back to the video. Um, so today I wanted to kind of just talk about, you know, depression, um, purpose, and how one can help you handle the other. And by one, I mean purpose can help you, you know, overcome depression. So, um, hopefully, if you've guys seen my previous videos, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. I haven't even said thank you to you guys. We made it to a thousand. I haven't even been able to make an awesome video about, you know, just all the support that you guys gave me on YouTube. So, shout out to you guys, day ones and the new people that are just subscribing now. I appreciate you. Um, it means a lot to me and I hope that we can continue connecting. So, um, 28, let's say there was a time in my life last year um, where I wasn't this happy, joyful version of myself, which is, this is the version of myself I wanna be and I wanna to continue to share with the world. The version of myself that I was, was a part of the reason why I haven't been doing these videos. Um, that version was very, it was like I was in a loop, I was in a cycle, I was in a same thing every day, nothing changes, you're sad, and you don't know what to do about it. You're like, I, I, I did all this in my life to get to this point, and now it feels like I'm, I'm not, not happy. And, and um, I guess I'll dive in a little bit deeper. Um, it was like a, an office space scenario. I'm sure you guys have seen the meme, maybe a video, maybe a TV show, maybe something similar where this guy goes to his cubicle, right? Um, and every day he goes into this little box cubicle, sees the same people, says the same thing, gets on the same computer, sends out the same emails, types the same reports. And it, and it almost feels like it's the same, same thing, same thing every day. Every day, you almost feel like you're a robot. You almost feel like you're like uh, in the matrix of sorts. And you, you don't know if this is it. Like college, you're thinking, after college, I'm gonna do this job. And in high school, you're thinking, I'm gonna do all this to get to college. And in middle school, you're thinking, I'm gonna do all this to get to high school. But once you're in this cycle, you start feeling like, is, is this it? Am I gonna spend the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years of my life doing the same thing and, and uh, doing it all just to get a check? And one thing hopefully you know about me is that I don't do what I do for the money. I don't do what I do for popularity, fame, notoriety, credit. Um, I'm not trying to impress anybody. Um, I do what I do because I'm passionate about it. I do what I do because I have a love for it. I do what I do because it, it, it's what inspires me to wake up in the morning. I do what I do because it's fun. And all those things were not connecting with my day to day. And it got to the point where I'd come straight home from work and then I'd want to go straight to sleep because I wasn't motivated to do anything. I just wanted to shut it all off, just 
close my eyes, relax, go to sleep. Hope, hopefully tomorrow will be better. And um, I slowly saw that it was like kind of, uh, and I'm not a depressed person, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you guys about this because regardless if I'm a depressed person or if I've went through this, somebody still may be going through this and I hope that you don't think that this is it. Like this is this is the way life is gonna continue to be because it's not. And and I'm just speaking from what happened to me and then I'll give whatever my advice is on the subject. But um, I got to the point where I started seeing, or I started noticing that my uh, attitude, my uh, my mind would start making up scenarios. So I'd like go out in public, somebody would give me the wrong order, someone would just do something incorrectly. And in my brain, like in those movies where you see what the person's thinking, it's something like violent or something, something like that would happen in my brain. I would just be like, ah. But in real life, I'm just like, Whew. and it kept happening and I'm very, I. I, I push myself to be a very positive person. So when I start seeing these negative uh, things happen in my head, it, it scares me. That's that's not me. And then it starts making you freak out. It makes you start talking to yourself like, "What's wrong? Why are you like? Why are you why are you feeling this way? Why are you not happy? Why why don't you appreciate what you have?" Like, and and this is a thing that a lot of Western culture does to you. Western world, um, you United States. A lot, I don't think I don't know but based on the numbers and statistics you can go look it up for yourself but like they make it seem as if the US we are the most depressed people yet we are the most privileged pre people so like how does that correlate and if I'm feeling like I shouldn't be like this why am I feeling this way sorry about that noise I just got a new fridge and did not expect it so I guess I turned off but my point is um it's, it, it got to a point where I knew I was gonna come to my breaking point I was basically waiting for an opportunity for somebody if I went out on a Friday night to push me and I was gonna throw hands I was gonna do something I was I was gonna unleash because I had a lot of stuff bottled up and I wasn't I wasn't getting it out I wasn't working out I was just suppressing it letting it happen I was waiting for somebody at work to say something for me to put them in their place to go off and it's a blessing God was looking out for your boy because none of that happened. I didn't set off, no time bomb set off, but that's how I was. I was a ticking time bomb of just like not being who I want to be. That That's what I felt like. So it got to the point where eventually I said, I got to make it, I, I got to let somebody know. I, I got to talk, I got to, I got to tell somebody like I'm, I'm not, I'm, I've worked too hard in my life to get to this point for it all to just just be thrown away just because I had a meltdown, just because I had my quarter life crisis, just because I had some sad emotions. Why, why would I work so hard just to get to this day, this time, this point to just blow up and just, oh, we thought he was a nice guy, he just did this. So I was blessed to be able to at least reach out to somebody. And let them know, hey, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this anymore. I don't think I'm gonna be able to work here. I don't think I'm gonna. I, I, I gotta get out. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. I gotta do something else. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta change, change, change. And um, that person, shout out to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna say any names in this video. <laughs> Ask me, hey. I, I'm so glad you told me. I'm so sorry you feel this way. It makes me sad to know that you feel this way. Why don't we have some lunch? Why don't we sit down and talk about it? Um, and now I'm gonna kind of just rush through the story because I want to get to the workout and and I want to get to the whole the point of behind my message here. Um, she talked me through it. She 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 made it seem like she, she made it seem like I wasn't alone. And that's, that's the first thing is that the people that feel this way, a lot of the time we just feel like we're alone and we don't think anybody relates or understands and people do relate, people do understand. And the first step for, for me was to let somebody know, to talk about it. Cause that's, that's hard. But once you talk about it, then, then you get some outside 
thoughts, outside wisdom that's not yours, because yours is yours is kind of clouded, man. You 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 haven't been thinking correctly for a good while now, so I wouldn't say you're the best case of judgment. And I think I'm pretty smart, trying not to be prideful here, but I think I'm pretty decent, you know, logical thinking human being. And even me, I wasn't kind of in the right mind space. So sometimes you just gotta say something to somebody else for them to help you process what's going on. And then they encouraged me to talk to this person and then, long story short, it got to the point where I had a, a community of people all looking out for me and willing to help me because they knew that this isn't who I was and, and, and they wanted better for me. So, they, they told me to talk about it with people at work and let them know how I was feeling and wh where I want to go, what I want to do and, and how I can get this passion and drive and love and and what I mean by all this passion and drive and love is I don't want to throw the millennial tag in but a lot of us or what they like to say about millennials is they only want to work for themselves they, they want to do what they love but they don't want to do any other job and yes and no because a lot of us want to do that but a lot of us understand that we still need to get paid and 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 make a life for ourselves so like not everybody just takes that mindset and and does nothing with their lives unless they have something that they're passionate about some of us do struggle it out and do things that we're not craziest about but but the whole point of me being able to talk about that and share with them is that it created opportunities um it, it was a big risk because i could lose my job i could lose the people close to me because of the things I was saying that may not have been correct and the key was really being able to trust those people and learn that they actually had my best interests in mind and that created an opportunity for me to transition potentially to another job or position to new skills or position to something that aligned with more of my passion. I went to mechanical engineering school. I'm very creative, I'm very logical, I'm very organized, I'm very technical. I got a lot of different things going on here. So what I mean by all that is I'm still learning about who 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 I am and what I want to do career space. And when I say career, I mean outside the football space. Um, so, Sorry, cut off again. Hey, if you're still watching this, uh, I appreciate you because D-Mount said I need to have more B-roll. So, I might joke around and just put some B-roll in here. Just, anyways, I'm gonna continue. So, um, I'm still learning what I wanna do with my life. And I think we're always gonna be learning what we wanna do in our life. I think there's people that are 40 that are still learning what they wanna do with their life. So if people hate on you for saying you're not happy and this isn't it, and they don't, they don't understand that you want more, then it's because they might have suppressed this already because there are people that go to work, clock in, clock out, and totally act, and totally disregard what just happened. They don't even realize that they, they just zoned out for eight hours in a day. And that, that's not me. I wanna be involved, I wanna be, I wanna be intrigued, I wanna be ingrained in what I do. And that's, and, and that's just me. Not everybody's like that. Um, so, so yeah. And what that did with me reaching out is it created opportunities of hope. And what I mean by hope is it had, it had a reason that I was going to, to that office, to that cubicle, to work every day now. Now, I go in, I know there's potential for this to happen. I go in, I know there's potential for this. I had A, B, and C uh, opportunities of what could go next, what I could learn, who I could talk to, where I can connect, where I can grow. And, um, and, and that hope brings me back to the whole main point of the video is the purpose. Um, that hope connected me to my purpose because my, 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 my passion was aligning with what I was doing on the day to day and that is what inspired me to want to get up every morning, want to go to work and want to do that. And, and that's why I think you guys see me very motivated right now is because I have hope right now. I have applied to the Spring League. Do I know if I'm going to get into the Spring League? No, I don't know. But when you have that hope when you have that milestone when you have that goal that target and you're like I want to go not to my bed but you're like I want to go here I want to go here 
now you got something to strive for. Now you got something to work at. Now you got now you got something to put all this effort at. But now if you're stuck in a cycle of just depression and you don't know what you want to do with your life and you don't know where you want to go, it's really hard to get out of that cycle unless you start bringing it out and letting other people know and letting them help you and then you start figuring out, okay, I'm not happy with this. We've already established what I don't want. Now let's start brainstorming things that what I do want and let's see how I can get to something that allow me to get to what I do want. And that's what I think happened to me at the end of 2018. I started aligning what I want to do, why I want to do it and how it's going to get me to where I want to go. And that's the same thing that's happening with football as we speak. I, I, I know what I want to do. I know why I want to do it. And I have the hope and a purpose that I'll go to the spring league and I'll be able to accomplish that. And if the spring league doesn't work out, then I'll have to realign myself and maybe I will hit a little stumble. I don't know yet, but what I can tell you is that today I am motivated because there is potential. There's the light at the end of the tunnel. There's, there's a passion that's going to drive me to put everything I got so that when I get there, it's game time. Woo! Oh yeah! I don't know if y'all saw what I just did there, but um, but yeah, man. So so yeah, whole point of this is, yeah. If you're feeling like you're going through a cycle of nothingness and you're just feeling depressed and the world is just not doing anything for you, realize that we are in the U.S. We are the privileged ones, and that it 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 means that you're not you're not inspired. And how do you get inspired? You got to talk to people. You got to start writing things down, brainstorming, finding out what gets you up in the morning, what motivates you to be you. And once you get back to that then that purpose is going to overcome that depression. So yeah, man, um, shout out to the new swag. Hope you guys check us out at enjoy the grind on Instagram. I will be putting together a contest, hopefully coming soon. And I'll be able to tell you guys about that. And the contest is going to definitely allow you guys to get some free merchandise, some free swag, And, um, hopefully you guys will continue to enjoy the grind with me. So yeah, this one is a large fits me a lot smoother. Can kind of see the guns and then the one that you just saw the big white one that was an xl and some people like the fitted some people like the baggy i like the swaggy i'm cool hey okay i'm gonna stop so yeah man um come work out with us here in a bit um yeah man i i hope i hope that helped i don't know um but um it it, it helped me and um that's why i got this smile on my face so yeah man i'll see y'all here in a bit peace All right, guys, so we have arrived. I'm gonna go see what's up. I think I'm late. They started their routes probably around 10, so. We will rekindle the fire. What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Good, you? I might hop in here in a bit. I watch one of your videos on YouTube. Oh, yeah? Hey, you on the channel right now? What's your name? Doyne Jabo. Hey. Or they stay, baby. D2. What's up? D2. Yeah. Yeah. You guys start at 10? Oh uh, yeah, we started at 10. You need the full workout? Uh, it's just about. This is a, well, they started there with their stuff right now. So we started right around about 10. Touchdown. Addy Brown, man, represent Dollar Colorado. With my man Emmanuel Graves, man, getting that work in. It's Gravis, bro. You, day. I mean, you can't mess it up on man. camera. I'm not editing this, too. Um, Addy so, B, Denver, Colorado. So, my what, man Emmanuel Gravis. What college? What college you come from? 
I went to Adam State University. All right, so what year? Tell them where you yeah. at, who you played for so far. Like, Yeah, I came out 2016. Uh, you know, I've been playing for uh, Toronto Argonauts and Edmonton Eskimos. Uh, yeah. Come off injury, and I'm back at it, man. Grinding nonstop. Yep. So he's gonna be trying to get back in the CFL. He's working out here, Lando. You've been in here like every single day since January or December. I've been uh, here every day since October first. Yeah. Yep. I got off of my uh, therapy September first. What do you got to say to all those people saying stuff about D2 and like how it's 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 even harder, even though you did it. And you're Adam State, so we played together. We played against each other, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think we came out with a W against y'all. Every year. Yeah. Smash this. <laughs> but um, but they're still putting out athletes, still going pro. So, like, what, what do you say to that? Like, all that negative, like, people that make it sound so difficult or impossible, yeah. basically. You just said it. It's negativity. Don't let the negativity get you ahead, man. D2, they find diamonds everywhere. It's all about you. It's all about how hard you work. That's it. Can't nobody stop you. Enjoy the process. Enjoy hey, man. the grind, man. Hey, so I hope yeah. you guys, we get to get some film with him, hopefully, soon. He took his cleats off today. Yes, sir. He's going to put me on my heels, hopefully, and then give me some work. So. <laughs> All right, bro. Enjoy the grind, it. baby. Yeah, sir. yeah, keep doing your thing, man. Yeah, All right, Austin or Gabe, yeah, uh, give me like give that? me something for me. All right, cover you. Hey, uh, oh, you. I'll let you know, though. Yeah. You want to yeah, yeah, let me know. You should set the camera up. Oh, okay. No, I need somebody to hold it and then somebody to run a route. All right, you got it. More challenge. You can just. What do you want me to be? Let me run the same way. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to on a deep concept? You'll go. You'll do you need to sign a release? Do you need to sign a release form? Hey, so I don't know if y'all know, but this lovely gentleman Do it again. is the good old Paxton Lanchy. The mic is on, bro. Oh, it is. The mic is on. So bro. we're always on there. We're always on. Okay. But we can edit. We can edit. Oh, okay. But <laughs> my guy just said that was a good throw. I think it was I a good throw. I thought it was. Was that a good throw? <laughs> I think it was a good throw. I think it was a good throw. Okay. I just have to catch it. We're just going to do it again. Great receiver okay. right there. I don't have to be the fastest guy on the field. As long as I can do this right here. Oh yeah, you ain't touching me. I'm stacking. You're fucked. You want one more? Could you yeah. drop that one? Short term memory, yeah, I didn't you gotta remember. throw it on the camera like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can cut that. <laughs> this is no edit, bro. This is all live. This is live stream right now. This is live stream. Direct. He'll edit. He'll I edit. Hey. He's about to edit all y'all's drops, is what he's about to do. Uh, no, he'll probably keep them. <laughs> he'll probably keep them. Sheesh. Let him know I'm breathing hard. <laughs> That's because he's out of shape. <laughs> back to back routes, two receivers. <laughs> you getting that work. <laughs> Ready? Got time. You want to tell people what happened? They saw what happened, bro. <laughs> the film don't lie. <laughs> you want to end on that? I got to end on a. Dave got to catch one, bro. Hey, you're fine. Head up. Let's go. Head up, let's go. Come on. No, it's okay. Head up, let's go. Let's go. This, this is what we do. Let's go. What do you think? Run the shake. Run the shake. Yeah. I haven't run that. He'll show you. He'll show you how to do it. Go. How many yards you went? Fifth inside step. Okay. Outside step one time. So you count steps then? Yeah. So fifth inside step. Beam. So the beam. Three steps. Come out of it. Three steps on the beam. Oh yeah, man. Stack him up, get him behind you. He wants his behind you. All I did was get him behind you. Take a quick one, and a step or two, but then I just saw that. So get him. That's how we're gonna stack up. Plan. 
like you're coming into the drive. So let me just come up. Make sense? Think of Bang 8. Down tight. Heat up. We can end on that! You fuck me, bro. I just got worked like five rounds before that. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna put one highlight, no film. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers got me on two completions and completions now. Hey, I got you on 30 great catches. Yeah. Stop it. That's it. Let me get him real quick. Why he hot? No, he's not hot. No, but I'm saying, like, we got to run the back real You want quick. him? <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to go super oh, disrespectful. Want... Okay, here's what we're oh, doing. But there's people, so we'll have to go from the left. No, do the... Oh, hitch my shit. Instead of breaking out, I'll break in. What are you talking about? Hitch. So, you know how we hit start and we're coming back? We're going to hit like this. So, hitch, boom. Instead of going out, I'll hitch, stop him, boom. Okay, all right. Come, come here, come here. Come here. Who? If it breaks, thank God for money. <laughs> that was a good fucking round. I can't even lie to you. Right, I don't know if that was a shake round. It's uh, the juke. I ain't seen it from the outside. No, I seen it from the inside. All the time. Good round, bro. Good work. Okay. Um, all right, that's two in a row. He came out, got two in a row. Came out of you retirement. Got three, but you got two in a row. Too. Uh, nah, you nah. One more, one more for three in a row. You want to keep it like that? No, nah, I gotta go. You completion, then Gabe completion. I'm fucking done. Alright, bro, take it easy. I'll be I'm solid. Gonna let Gabe go first. Go Alright, Gabe. Gabe, Gabe you go. first. Okay, don't let the snow stop you from driving. You fucking tell me. Whatever you think you fucking get over on a cat. We've gotten open everything since I've caught it. Once. Yeah. On that last one. Dig grab. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Alright, Gabe. Down tight. Finale. He was. Hey, you see it? You see where I'm going? Like, look where he's lined up. I'm gonna fucking throw you a touchdown. That's all. Does matter. that make sense? Yes. Downside. No. He almost. He almost routed you into an interception, though. Damn. That was a fucking bad throw. Downside. I'll come to you. Can safety see me step like that? Oh, I'm jumping. No bite. Beautiful. Appreciate you giving yeah. me the work. Of course. Jackson, thanks for the finish, good balls, yeah. bro. Appreciate you, bro. Gabe, Gabe, finishing strong. <laughs> you know it's all love. I was just kidding <laughs> with you. <laughs> all right. So, we went back to back like Drake said. Uh, got tired. Quick little workout. Everybody else did theirs. I came in last minute because I still got a real job. <laughs> Y'all work? I got a real job. You work? Does anybody else work? I got work? a real job. Is that any, oh, he got a job. I got a real, real job. I had the kids. Full time father. Right? Oh, full time. Actually, I'm kidding. They're right both fathers. Hold on, hold on. Three fathers. Full time dad. Okay, right never mind. My, my apologies. Just I, just, I just want to make myself feel better. <laughs> but they gave me the work today, so it was good. You know what's called? Enjoy the grind. It's going to be a grind. I gave him two routes. I ain't been working out for a good six months. <laughs> he came in. We did the thing. I can't talk right now, but I got to end this video. So, title will be Paxton Got Picked. Enjoy the grind. Enjoy the grind. Enjoy the grind. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, but for real, appreciate you guys subscribing. Y'all have a blessed day. Comment, like the video down below.
I'll get better hopefully. Yo. Spring League, shout out, give me a shot. All right. Last but not least, you enjoy the grind. What'd you say about Spring League? You know, explore your options. There's other options better than the Spring League. Um, if you're trying to get back into football, besides arena, besides a personal workout, try the AAFL. It's a great opportunity. It's up and coming. There's some good flag leagues around here too, bro. Some flag football. Hey, I don't know why. It's some great flag leagues, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here doing it because I'm a pops. Hey, who plays flag? Me! <laughs> I do! I can tell you play flag I'm football. I'm a dad, bitch! Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> the fighting words. Listen, we on camera, I don't want to fight my guy over here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think it'll be racial profiling if I fight the white guy with all the black guys. You know I'm not editing this, right? I know, it's fine. This is out there. <laughs> it's right because I'm mixed, I'm light skinned. So. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> You got light skin tendencies. All right, logic. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs>